ladies and gentlemen, the day has come. We finally get to play the Grim 3 that we have so desperately been begging Shay to do. So a huge shout out to him. He did send me this pedal. Um, so I'm very lucky to be obsessed with this pedal uh, for the simple reason that I now have one of every version that has been made. So I'm going to be doing a series of the Grim series uh, pedals. Um, so we have my personal favorite so far, which is the Grim 1. This is serial number uh, 14. Then we have the Grim version 2 that came out. This is version 1.1.2. Uh, there was some tweaks done to it. And then I did have one of the prototypes. Now this is, I believe, Taylor Danley's uh, signature pedal. I don't know the deal um, with it, but it is called the Boomstick on this one. So I'm gonna call this, uh, we're just gonna call it the Boomstick prototype because that's what it is. Uh, so I don't know the details on that. So uh, all I know is that I, I bought this when Shay had posted it uh, up for sale. He was cleaning out, I guess, his collection at one time. And so now we have Grim 3, and uh, I'm a huge fan of the Grim. The Grim, to me, is the end-all, be-all when it comes to 808-style pedals. I think it is the best sounding and has the best options. Uh, and typically, I'm a simple, less is more kind of person, but in this case, the Grim just nails it. So we're going to start off with the version 1 real quick. Uh, you did have uh, a low cut, a high cut, so a high pass, low pass. Uh, a three-way clipping, you had a level blend, gain, bass, treble, and bite. Uh, as you can see on the Grim 3, that is slightly different on the outside. A lot of the controls have been moved to the inside that are lacking there on the out. So on the outside, we have a low, a high, a gain, blend level, and bite. And in the middle at the top, you have a tight knob. Um, that was a nice addition. The low pass filter is on the inside, so your high pass, uh, I guess, is technically your, your uh, tight control. Um, and then you have a three-way clipping, uh, which is a dip switch. Um, and what else am I missing? Oh, it's got... All right, so version one, two, all had the impedance. Um, there is not an impedance on uh, the boomstick. In fact, there is no internal controls on the boomstick. So I'm going to leave it as it's dialed in because to me, this is like a phenomenal setting. Uh, so we're going to deep dive and I'm going to do some ABCD comparisons to this pedal later on. So uh, subscribe, share, like, comment, you know, all that fun stuff that everybody begs you to do. I'm only saying that because this is going to be an interesting series for the way I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to use the same amp which is my single rectifier Mesa Boogie. Um, it is a Rectoverb 50. It's a Series 2. Um, it's not the little 50 watt or 25 watt mini one. It's the old school full size. We're going to use the same guitar, which is my Deviant Grimoire. We're going to use this guitar. It's got the uh, Dark Moon uncovered pickups. I uh, did a video on those a while back as well. And uh, yeah, we're going to compare all of these. So they're all the same topology. You know, they're all in that 808. I think the, the boomstick is actually a ST9 based, if I remember uh, right. If I have to go back to my notebook, which I'm writing it all down. We'll, we'll discuss it in each video. So today we're just going to talk about it. We're going to play a little bit and uh, kind of get an introductory. And then I'm going to start deep diving into it. We're going to go over all the internal controls. We're going to go to, you know, an AB between one and three, one and two, two in the boomstick, you know, all of them. So uh, enough jabbering. Let's go. Thank you. 
It's fucking awesome. It, it truly is. Uh, Shay fucking knocked it out of the park, dude. So we're going to deep dive again. Like I said, we're going to take a look at all these pedals. We're going to compare them. Uh, my heart still is just, I love the, the OG, the version one, man. This pedal, uh, it just does it. So I really want to push hard against the Grim 3 because so far this thing up at the top. So tell me in the comments what you think. Stick around uh, for some of the other videos, like I said, when we start doing those deep dives. We'll catch you on the next one.